as a SSP, I need to enable the account executives and I also try to improve more business for the customers. People look at us as the subject matter expert for our specific solution area. So first we need to build that expertise and be the subject matter expert both internally as well as externally to the clients. I need to be aware of what my product is. So for example, I'm an SSP for apps and infra. So I need to be aware of what Microsoft Azure is so that I can actually help understand the customer requirements. But also I have to propose what we can do to empower their businesses. My role is within data and AI, so we're dealing with some really new technology. We do a lot of strategy at the beginnings. We do territory plan, so we think a lot of what is the best options for the customer, and that's what we try to tackle. We talk about the roadmap, what customer are going to achieve, and then we analyze and solve the problem step by step. The way that we are able to address those needs and aspects is really being curious about what the customer is doing. We always try to ask, depending on who we are talking to, what is the business problem that they're trying to solve. We get to uncover a lot of opportunity for the business and come up with some really cool opportunities via the Microsoft products and systems. One of the best ways that we can do that is by sharing some of the great videos and case studies of how technology innovation is really changing multiple industries. And that usually opens the customer's eyes and that's a great entry point for our discussion. For the successful SSP, I think you need to know sales and technical. You need to be like 100% selling, but additional of technical background. I think that you really need to love to help people. The customer have to trust in you. You need to have the drive of a salesperson and you need to be well versed with the technology also. We help them build a better future.